What is up you sexy prostitutes, it is your main man Zebra here, bringing you an exciting game, as always, of Modern Warfare 3, using the, uh, a gun, <laughs> I don't know what gun, using a gun, on, uh, out of resistance, and getting quite a nice kill streak if I do say so myself. Well, actually that's a lie, <laughs> 42 for 11. It's okay, it's not bad, it's not good, and using support kill streak setup. Uh, no, that's a lie, I just saw. That's completely wrong. We're using uh, assaults with the Predator and something else and then Juggernauts. Uh, we don't get the Juggernaut, unfortunately, I don't think, which is pretty gay. Always, It's always gay when you don't get a Juggernaut. And uh, it's basically, well that's what makes the video quite good. It's because I don't get the Juggernaut, so I'm basically just kicking ass, running around, not camping, being awesome, being like, hey, there's an enemy, let's shoot him. Bam, 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 yes, he's dead, let's go get another one. Oh my god, you suck, I just killed you too. <laughs> and then... Uh, Continuing that, that, uh, that nice train of thoughts. As you may have, uh, may the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the keen eyed among you may have noticed, I'm only level 35 in this video, so it's quite old. Um, what is also even more embarrassing is the fact that I'm only, as of last night, just double that level. <laughs> I only just ticked over to like level 64, which is bad, man. But I'm always level 80, I'm so close. I just really want to get level 68 and get my AK-47 and be like, yes, I'm a bloody gangster again. Just give me my gold AK and I'm sorted. <laughs> I'll give you loads of videos. I'll be like, kicking ass left, right and centre, getting like juggernauts and everything. I'll be like, you can't kill me when I got a gold AK-47. I'm just a man. Screw you. Anyway, it's kind of weird because these like last four videos I, uh, I've done in the space of like an hour. <laughs> but for you guys, they're gonna be able to do like one a day. So for you guys, they're gonna be like, oh my God, it's so many videos in such a short amount of time. And uh, they're gonna be so like really disjointed because I'm talking about all the same kind of stuff, just over four videos. Um, Cause I haven't done something so long. Uh, but basically, yeah, I should have said this a, a couple of videos ago, but um, I had a huge backlog of comments and subscribers from when I went to America and I love to normally say thanks to everyone who subscribes and reply to all the comments, but um, yeah, just there were so many, and I was like, well, that sounds stupidly big headed. <laughs> I, was just, I was just basically being lazy, to be honest, guys, um, because of like um, the stupid YouTube system where you do like five comments and it's like, you have to type in a, key, uh, a phrase to prove you're not a bot. It's just like, oh my god, they're so hard to read and they're so boring to do. It's like, I do five comments and I'm like, oh. I just can't bother to continue doing the uh, like the little capture phrases and stuff. So I apologise to all the new subscribers and all the comments that I didn't get to. Uh, I've read them all because I get them all on my email, so I read them all. I'm like, oh, that really touched my heart. And, oh, this guy's such a legend. And oh, he's mean, but he's got the best intentions. Um, yeah, I replied to uh, as many as I could, but uh, I'm sorry to me, but I didn't. But thanks, basically, to everyone who subscribed and uh, you know left comments recently when I didn't do any videos for ages and stuff. So thanks, guys. You're my best friends now, and we can all go out to parties and be like, "Hey, ladies, we're all best friends. Come and talk to us." And they'll be like, "Oh, sure. You all look really awesome, and you're cool, and I love how you like games." <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll see. But yes, continuing a uh, a story, <laughs> well, not even a story. Continuing my commentary from not the last video, but the video before when I was like, "I'm going to continue this in the next video." Not being able to place more than one claymore, ah, and not being able to replace them with scavenger pack, it has killed me off, big style guys. Of all the things to fix in this game, of all the things to change, why did they have to be like, sorry, you can't lay more than one scavenger anymore? I <laughs> just like, oh, I mean, not scavenger, claymore, I'm just like, really? That was like my favourite thing about this game, being able to camp. And camping is not the problem, quickscoping is a problem, well one, quickscoping is a problem, because it's fucking annoying and it's dumb and it shouldn't happen. Fix that before you fix being able to place more than one claymore. Even if you can't place two claymores at the same time, you should still be able to refresh them. That'd be awesome. And it was awesome and it worked for me. So I don't know why they fixed that for change so you can't have more than one claymore. I didn't fix quick scoping and didn't fix the knife. The knife is still a whole, a whole humongous case of Oh, I see someone across the map. Let's just press the button without even looking at him and knife him. Oh, there's someone who just ran past me and he's shooting me in the back. Let's just press the knife and knife him. It's like, no, it shouldn't be like that. Fix that before you ruin my game and take out the claymores. Ah, guys, I can't take it anymore. It's so annoying. Um, I, just, I, just, I just don't get that trailer thought. It's like you're trying to stop camping, but 
what's wrong? It's, a, it's like a legitimate playstyle. If someone is dumb enough to keep running back into you, it's just like... <laughs> It's it just I just can't get it through my head. It's like you you're fixing someone's stupidity, not the game. <laughs> it's ah, it's just so wrong. Is what it is. You're fixing all the little kids' inevitability at adapting and changing to play the game by not running back to try and get revenge skills, and just continually letting them be stupid and getting quick scoping where they don't even look at you. The cursor is nowhere near you, and they haven't even zoomed in fully, and they just get a headshot. It's like no, just completely wrong. <laughs> and then, anyway, back to happy, <laughs> happy topics. Uh, another thing I saw, I found out about American, uh, American about America is the radio. Uh, we rented a car to get from uh, Newark in Massachusetts to New York, and uh, we can unfortunately we couldn't plug like the iPod into the car, so we had to listen to the radio. And in England, that is. Just dreaded. You're like, I don't want to listen to the radio because the radio is crap. You have kids like Chris Moyles who doesn't actually play music. He just talks because he loves the sound of his voice and he doesn't even make funny jokes and he thinks he's funny and he's just a massive prick. But in America, you have a radio that actually plays music and good music. Like, I'm massive into my drum and bass and dubstep. Um, and you guys, you guys are huge into your, uh, or at least on the radio, you guys love your hip hop. And uh, I don't mind. So hip hop's good. And you guys play good hip hop. You play, you know, Kanye West and Jay Z. Whereas here, when they eventually play music, they play crap like Jedward and uh, like Girls Aloud and shit like that. Uh, so America has good radio. That has that is one thing America has going for it, if nothing else. Good radio. Um, and another thing I was thinking is, is it time to change my intro from that bird with sunglasses? Because I still really like it, but I don't know if it's too offensive for you guys. If you guys are like, I don't really want to watch these videos because it means having to uh, watch this disgusting video of, uh, or crap video, whatever you guys think of it, of uh, this bird with sunglasses. I don't know. Do you guys not like it? Is it time for a new one, a new slick one? I don't know. Give me some ideas. Let me know what you think and I'll change it or I'll keep it as you see fit. Because to be honest, I want to keep it because I like it. <laughs> or I'll do a new one in the same kind of style. We'll see. See what you guys say. Another thing uh, that has lots has changed in or we'll continuing the radio talk is the music world. Oh my god, there's been loads of new albums out. Have you guys who's I don't know, I don't know if uh, you, a lot of you guys know Enter Shikari, but they got a new album out and it is mental. It's so good. Uh, their first album was awesome. The second album was a bit of a disappointment because it was a bit crap. <laughs> but the third one has got some cracking songs on it. So if you guys are N Shikari fans, go check it out. If you're not, if you like a bit of uh the reason I like them is because I'm you know, I'm uh, I love my let myself a little bit of metal and screaming, and I love myself a bit of electronic dubstep and drum and bass. And Shikari just fused the two, so you've got like uh the singer who does quite a bit of screaming and stuff, and then uh, the breakdowns, it goes a bit drum and bassy, a bit, uh, you know, electro. It's, it's awesome, and I think it works really well. A lot of people, I say a lot, it's like, you talk to some people like, oh my god, it just doesn't work, and then you talk to other people like, oh my god, I love it so much, play some more! And that's one of me. <laughs> Basically, that's just me. I'm like, ah, I just want to listen to it forever and ever and ever. Um, so yeah, check them out. Um, check out... So check out uh, Anything Can Happen in the Next Half Hour or Sorry, You're Not A Winner by Enter Shikari because they are sweet songs. They're so good. They get you so pumped up. Um, they're off the album Takes The Skies. Download that one. Ignore the second album which is called Some Crap Like Common Dreads and then uh, if you like the first one download the second one. Uh, sorry, no, no, not the second one. Download the third one called A Flash of the Colour which is pretty awesome. And then another release which I don't know how I missed which was like back in December, was it? Uh, and I only found out about it like last week in January. Uh, Skrillex, he's got a new EP out and that's got some absolutely banging tunes on it. It goes mental. It goes, um, some of them, well, one of them is a bit crap, I thought. Not crap, just not that good. Uh, but also one of them is really quite drum bassy, which is awesome, because I'm a big fan of drum, drum, uh, dubstep, but I'm even bigger back fan of uh, drum bass. Drum bass is awesome. Uh, and then when you fuse the two with uh, some drum step, so you've got the, uh, the drum and bass back beat and then the dub step drops. Ah! Oh my god, it's the best music ever. And that's kind of what this uh, one of the songs is in that. It's got a nice uh, drum and bass back beat with uh, the old uh, Skrillex, uh, you know, kind of uh, style. On a, a totally unrelated note, <laughs> I made my first ever DVD pre order the other day. And it is of the DVD called Drive. If you guys have not seen it, you have to sort your lives out. And on the 30th of January, go out and buy it or download it or whatever. 
It's, honestly, it's one of the best films I've ever seen. It's not the best film I've ever seen because that title belongs to any ever any film Christian Bale has ever done because they're all amazing. Uh, oh my god, the new Batman trailer! Ah, I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, Drive is awesome. It, uh, you know, some of you may have seen the trailer and not seen the film. The trailer gives off a hugely different impression from what the film is. The trailer makes it look like it's going to be like a, a big action film about a getaway driver or a stuntman who, uh, who uh, you know, in his spare time is a getaway driver and it's going to look like it's been a bit action packed, a bit fast and furious or whatever. And then you watch it and you're like, oh my god, it's really slow paced and it's, uh, you know, nothing more like what the trailer makes out. But it really draws you in. I hate to be all sort of like the. Uh, the generic kind of things like, but the soundtrack is awesome. The soundtrack super duper fits and it's shot in an amazing way where it's kind of like a, a bit of a dream state kind of uh, America lands. And it's awesome. And it's got some rip, but also uh, as soppy as some of the parts is, it's got some really, really awesome moments where he uh, basically just kicks ass and I'm not going to ruin any, uh, any moments of the film from you. You can just go and see it because I hate people like that. Like someone I work with, he watches a film but basically, uh, he watched Drive. I, after I told him to watch it, he went out and watched Drive. And he came in the next day and he was like, oh, Drive's an amazing film. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, I told you. It's like four months ago. <laughs> and then he just, he single-handedly ruined the whole film for everyone else in the studio. I was like, and when he finished his talking, I was like, yeah, it's all really good, Stuart. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But you just ruined the film for everyone else. And he was like, oh yeah, so I did. And I was just like, come on, really? I hate people to do that. It's like, why can't you just say you like the film? And then not ruin it for everyone like he was like oh, i love the film i love the ending when doo -doo 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 -doo, i just completely ruined it i'm like why do that <laughs> i just like i was glad i'd seen the film because uh, he's ruined other films for me i'm like you're such a prick <laughs> i'm joking that's a bit harsh but anyway cheers for watching guys please comment rate and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video much love